Good morning, Amanda Boxtel, and we have Tiffany Nicolin today to talk about the Kansas Truck Mobility Rodeo. It's an annual event that really helps people with limited physical mobility kind of see the latest and greatest technology that is out there. Good morning, ladies. Good, good morning. morning. Glad to see you again, and Thank good you. to have you in our studio for the first time. Thank you. Well, let's talk first about Amanda being here today. Um, you worked hard to get her here, yes, and it's yes. because you really want to show off the latest technology this year. Tell me about that. Well, being a spinal cord um, injury person, I had followed Amanda through Challenge Aspen and I noticed that she had some technology that she was able to acquire the exoskeleton and just her journey from being able, you know, being a wheelchair user for so many years and now being able to stand up and walk mm -hmm. is phenomenal. So I'm really excited for other people to be exposed to this technology and hopefully get it in our community. Well, let's talk about the bionic exoskeleton and what it does for you. Explain it to us. In essence, it's a wearable robot that fully encases my body. It enables me to power up, stand up, and take very natural steps with a reciprocal gait. Um, it helps take away my nerve pain, increases my circulation in my legs, takes away my edema, helps with my digestive system. So that's the physical benefits, but the psychological is that I get to stand up <laughs> eye to eye and have a heart to heart hug, and that's the best. So my goal is to get this technology into every community possible through our foundation, Bridging Bionics Foundation. Okay, and this is something that you've been working with for a few years now. And so you, you, you've kind of gotten used to, to trying it out and to wearing it. Yes, there's a, a definite learning curve uh -huh. too uh, for new users okay. who are standing up for the first time. Uh, in my case, it's, it had been 18 years. Mm. I've used the device on and off for about three years and now I'm 21 years post-injury. Um, it's really important for any person that's aspiring to walk in this device to prepare their bodies today to walk again because they can. Okay. Um, and they need to have good range of motion and flexibility, so keep working out out, do physical therapy, stand up in a weight, uh, standing frame and weight bear on your limbs so that you can walk again. But it's, uh, it's about quality of life. That's what this exoskeleton does. It just enriches a person's mm -hmm. life. And that's going to be the demonstration that's at 1 o'clock today. And, and tell me, Tiffany, where that's going to be at. Well, uh, Kansas Truck Mobility is doing the Mobility Rodeo today. And it's off of Kellogg and Tyler, um, 26 different vendors. And we're going to have presentations starting at 9 o'clock running all the way until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The rodeo goes on until 6. There is a free lunch provided and just amazing information provided all in one spot. Okay, and that's that's kind of what you were talking about, the mini workshops that are going to be taking mm -hmm. place to do. So mm -hmm. you're learning um, about the new technology. And mm -hmm. what else are you learning about in these workshops? Handyman Matters is coming to show what he's able to do if you need your home remodeled. Um, someone will be there regarding financial assistance with the new health care situation and what you know, answering questions for that. There'll be a person there doing some fit, physical fitness therapy type activities, just a whole range of events. Now, after watching the video of the bionic exoskeleton, it just, you know, it amazes me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, did you ever think, you know, you said you've been 21 years post mm -hmm. your accident. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think after this happened that you'd be able to walk again? No. Could you envision this technology at all? Well, way back when I was injured, no. I was told by a doctor that I would never walk again and I felt like every ray of hope was robbed from me. And there's every reason now for a doctor not to say those words, but to instead say, come here, yes you can, we'll show you how. And it's just learning how to walk differently. And so, yes, my dreams have virgin to life and I am living the dream. I'm, I'm able to get up and I use this technology five days a week in a rehabilitative context and I, I feel better. I sleep better and um, I'm just, I'm extremely grateful and it's going to improve. It'll get smaller, lighter weight as the future moves forward. Absolutely. And, and maybe a, I'll wear high heels like you. <laughs> that's her goal. She wants to wear shoes like this in the exoskeleton. Hey, you gotta dream big, right? Yeah, sleek, exactly. sexy with high heels. <laughs> white girls. And that's exactly why you wanted to have her on here, Amanda, and have her to come today because this mm -hmm. is such an important technology to share with people and really inspire them. Yeah, totally. And her perseverance through this whole process is mm -hmm. amazing. And we were talking last night after the event, um, it's just really neat to see a woman, you know, challenging the odds, making sure she's out there, getting things done. Mm -hmm. And not only, I mean, she's not doing this for herself. She's now on a mission to do it for the entire United States, having these devices available so everybody can be healthy and everybody can improve their quality of life. Thank you so much, and next Amanda. next is to get Tiffany up. <laughs> 
That's okay, you're going to get Sandy up. Thank you, <laughs> Tiffany, Amanda, for coming today. Thank the you. Truck Mobility Rodeo. Make sure you check that out. We'll see you ladies next time. Thank, Thank you. you.